satellite companies who have ambitions to come into urban areas serving elite retail customers just need to take the telecom licenses like everybody else. Be bound with the same conditions. They need to buy the spectrum as the telecom companies buy. They need to pay the license fee as the telecom companies do and also secure the networks like telecom companies do. This is a simple solution which can be done on a global scale and India can again show the way in, in this particular regard. The company's 18,000 crore FPO, marking the largest of its kind in India, was met with overwhelming enthusiasm. It was oversubscribed seven times overall and an astonishing 19 times amongst institutional investors. Fundraise has enabled the company to kickstart again its CapEx cycle. Vodafone Idea has already announced the next phase of CapEx detail worth $3.6 billion with three global partners, Nokia, Ericsson, and Samsung. The scale and speed of multilingual data generation in India, which will drive the AI revolution, will grow exponentially. We request the government to expedite the updating of the 2020 draft of the data center policy that Indian data should remain in India data centers. Therefore, Indian companies ready to set up AI and machine learning data centers should get all necessary incentives, including incentives for power consumption.